Well before do-it-all professional skier Gus Kenworthy was saving puppies, winning medals, and hanging with celebrities, he developed his tricks and turns as a youngster in the world-class ski town of Telluride, Colorado. Wherever we went, he was always jumping off things and spinning. Wherever there was a place to get air, Gus would go for it, and he'd always put a couple of spins in. Always. When I was growing up, we had a super close-knit group of friends that we all skied with. One of them was my buddy Hoot, who was probably my best friend. Hoot was older, and he did take Gus under his wing, and both their dream was, you know, to be pro skiers and to win X Games. You know, they lived for skiing. They lived for the park. Hoot was one of our best friends, and he was one of the up-and-comers, and he was absolutely killing it. We would ski every day, and we were shooting these movies, and like having the time of our life. On March 24th, 2006, a group of skiers, including Gus, Hoot, Colby Ward, and their coach, headed out to the park for a dusk shoot. When I was 14, we were at our first photo shoot ever in the park in Telluride. I got a call from Gus, and I knew they were up there. He was on the gondola, and I could tell in his voice that something very, very bad had happened. And he said, Dad, Hoot's hurt. While hitching a ride on the back of a snowcat, Hoot's jacket got caught in the track, and he was sucked under the mammoth machine. And he was just coughing up blood, and he was just like, man, I'm not going to make it, man. I'm not going to make it. But, you know, that was one of the last few things he said. The whole crew was there, so even more of an impact. Just not only knowing that your friend passed away, but being there and thinking that you might have been able to do something to stop it. I remember thinking that it, it could have been me, or maybe it should have been me, just because he was skiing so well, and I felt like it was going to take off for him. It was, it was the most terrific thing you could imagine. It was incredibly painful. It was really hard for us. It, it tore some of us apart, for sure. He was a role model for Gus, and he was gone, just like that. And he watched it happen right in front of his eyes. And I've never really understood how he had the strength to, to just move on, because who was someone that he adored? He looked up to him, he adulated him. He was his hero, his best friend. At the very beginning, I didn't want to ski anymore. I didn't know. I felt like it wasn't worth it. My parents and other people were like, that's really stupid. You love skiing, who loves skiing? If anything, you should go for it more than ever in his honor. So that's sort of what I've tried to do. Ski hard, train hard, and work hard, and hopefully I'm proud of you. I think he came to understand pretty quickly that Hoot, of all people, would not have wanted him to quit skiing. He kind of took the spirit of Hoot with him back to the mountain, and that's what he needed to do. That was about the time that he changed and, you know, just really became so focused on wanting to be great and, you know, make himself a better skier, push it, go to competitions. And I think that was a, you know, a life-changing event. In 2011, at the age of 19, Gus got his first X Games invite. It was the moment he and Hoot had dreamt of. Hoot was cremated, so his mom gave us some ashes and actually at my first X Games. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> My first X Games, I spread them on the X Games course because that was always history. <laughs> that was one place that he always wanted to be, so it's kind of a nice thought knowing that it's there. There's more joy in it for Gus now because he's achieved some things that he wanted to achieve. So I think it's more as if he's giving Hoot a ride with him. I feel like I kind of have him watching over me. I always knew that Gus's dream to be in X Games was his definitive goal. Oh, there's a triple! Yes, Gus Kenworthy! Oh, that was pretty. That was huge. Oh, the oh. An X Games gold medal for me would, would mean everything. I mean, more, it would mean more to me than the Olympic medal or any of the AFP titles. It's definitely been my number one goal since I was pretty young, and it's what I'm still striving for.